YouTube family, YouTube family, apparently Young Blue is in a situation that a lot of us don't want to be in. He's going through twists and turns with contract negotiation dealings. He got folks like Boosie saying, nah, he's still signed to me, man, right there in front of Vlad TV. I mean, this guy is in a young world right now. He's enjoying the fruits of his loins. I think I butchered that, but you know what I mean? He's enjoying being young. Well, not wealthy, but got a lot of money and hopefully got a lot of money. You know, taxes out here is crazy, but, you know, he's been in a lot of lost up down situations. Young Blue is trying to let us know that life ain't always what it appeared to be. Before we get started, you know what we're going to ask you guys to do. And that's hit that like button, that notification bell. Get ready for Osmo Hip Hop Live. All right, family, make sure you follow my Instagram, DJ underscore bless one at DJ underscore bless one for, for Instagram. And I smoke hip hop for everything else. Now, make sure you guys also follow me and, and, and let's get started with the show by hitting a like button and make sure you hit that like button to a T and let's get started on your boy, Young Blue. Now, Young Blue was in some bad situations and he tried to, you know, get out of them and showed us that is not what we think of the situations. He's always been positive. You know, he's letting us know what the up and down is right now in his life. Now, apparently, Young Blue's baby mama, educational purpose, just dissed him and exposed him on social media everywhere. And he personally doesn't feel bad about How did it. The collaboration with Drake even mm. Because Demarcus Cousins has yeah. something to do with that. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That's crazy. You know, Demarcus <laughs> from, from my city. Okay. He from, he from my city. You know what I'm saying? So we was just talking when I had dropped the EP. Uh, he was just, you know, what I'm saying, listening to it. He was just like, you know, what I'm saying, he had went to that work. He was like, man. Shout out to, you know what I mean, the best radio station you can find, Power 106 FM, and the Leakers Crew. Now. You know, his baby mama is not one to be shy of words for Young Blue. Now, she's saying to the world that, hold on, this guy was an educational purpose, special ed class in high school. She said there's a reason why he appeared to look a little off, and she doesn't know why he's being fake. Now, Young Blue's baby mama, basically, and we're going to talk about a string of things that's been going on with Young Blue over the time period and we, we hope things get better for young blue but we're going to discuss these things and i hope you guys understand we're just covering the news all these are alleged allegations none of these have been proven to be proven to be facts unless we can actually go to those physical claims now she's saying basically young blue's baby mama that is recently accused him you know uh, of being a lot of type of people he accused her of keeping his son from him you know the 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 new r&b slash rapper has let it be known he's in a physical custody fight with his baby mom she was permitted to get him every friday from school but choose to take him indefinitely because i wouldn't agree to give her money he wrote i'm trying to avoid getting police involved in this so y'all see me and her dm me on ig basically he wants to see his son and i guess he probably has the custody she's the one who has to go through visitations and all that to get it but why would she do that i don't know before we continue with her i want to go to what's been going on with the rapper now we know he's been speaking about family issues talking about things like that of that nature one of the things he put on the screen as you guys see this goes for family especially wrote blue on social media y'all be thinking it's luck that a mf rich nah our mind really on a different frequency some people go get it and some people built to just ask for ish and in return they blame you for them living average you can help them all day but they think because you rich they support uh, uh they supposed to be rich I actually concur with Young Blue. Some people think, oh, he's in this fraternity group. He did this to get that. They weren't there for the days of nights that, you know, you sweated it out. I understand what he's coming from. Most people don't see the work you put in. Now, Young Blue 
he, he wrote a little situation about his baby mama on the screen. He said, I got $2,500 to whoever sends me the location of Shauna Phillips and Corbin. She took Corbin after I let her see him for her mom's funeral and refuses to give him back. Blackmailing me, he missed four days of school. Any info that leads to her exact whereabouts, I'm going to cash app you. Thanks. Sheesh. It goes more than that. We'll go back to reading that, but let's go to some more few things. And personally, Young Blue, if your baby mother does have your child and you're the ones who have rights for him, and you're the custodial parent, you should call the cops because that's not snitching. That's you protecting your child. We all can agree. No matter how we all agree, we don't agree with snitching or whatnot. That's not snitching at all. That's you being a father protecting your child. That has nothing to do with snitching. Now, let me fast forward. Now, Young Blue, you know, he had an altercation with the cops. And, you know, that went kind of left field. I'm about to play that so you guys can hear what Georgia cops was speaking to Young Blue about his situation of a suspended license. In front of me, they profiled me at the store. When I came down, they plotted on me. Till I came down, till I came down the street, she put her lights on before I even, she even saw my tag. Got behind me, she was already in pursuit of me when she hit the turn. So how you know my tag is obstructed when you ain't even get behind me? I'm up here at Absolute Trailers. They just profiled the shit out of us, call the police. Call the police on us for looking at trailers. I'm up here with my lab my truck trying to find a trailer for tour. And they called the police on us just for looking at trailers. Talking about they had a, a, a bad run in last week. She was in front of me, put her lights on in front of me. They profiled me at the store. When I came down, they plotted on me. Till I came down, till I came down the street, she put her lights on before I even, she even saw my tag. Got behind me, she was already in pursuit of me when she hit the turn. Now, who was wrong, who was right? Do police lie at times? I mean, yeah, it's been proven. Now, <clears throat> I'm on that good Zaza conscious pack. I'm still smoking from the brother polite situation. Educational purpose, satire, satire. Now, cops do get run-ins where they're biased, but people, do they also make mistakes where they perceive it a certain way? Who knows? I do agree. But one thing we know, Young Blue got a great legal teams because once that went viral, you could tell some managers spoke to him because Young Blue out of nowhere made a video backpedaling. Where he's now blaming the business, but he apologized to Georgia State troopers. Now let's go to that apology he did to them. And I'm not I have nothing wrong against that at all. The important thing about this whole thing is this is not race baiting. This is not uh trying to pull the race card. This is not about white or black. This is about uh a group of black men going to a local business store, being singled out, police pulling up. Damn, they're drawing their weapons on us for no apparent reason. We feel for our life um, and just racial profiling in general. You know what I'm saying? We got police watching our house, putting on their lights. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm scared to leave my house. I'm scared to leave outside my gate because I'm afraid that these people have stuff out for me. We don't do nothing. We don't sell drugs. We don't do anything illegal. All we do is live nicely in our neighborhood and mind our business. So I would like to say this is not about race. This is about what happened in the pursuit of me with no justification and racial bias at that establishment. So I would like to say that that's my. So the most important thing about this whole thing is this is not race baiting. This is not uh, trying to pull the race card. This is not about white or black. This is about. Now he responded eloquently. He responded proficient. I got to give him respect. Now the baby mother educational purpose it's a lot going on with that. You know what I mean? Now we do know he wrote to her, I have custody of Corbin. They threatening to put kidnapping charges on her, but I told them no and to give me time. She might not be in her right mind. She has, you know what issues, basically mental issues. I don't want nobody in jail. I just want my son back. She was permitted to get him every Friday 
from school, but choose to take him indefinitely. I'm trying to avoid police and ish involved. So if y'all see her, DM me on IG and let me know so I can pick him up. Thanks. 2500 to any info that can lead me to her. Now, I will tell the young rapper, if you say she's not in her right mind, young blue, I don't think it will be beneficial for your young warrior child to be in the hands of a woman that's not in the right state of mind. I mean, you're one of the people who called out families and you said this and that. If you go with your words and what you called out, even after you apologize to the police department, salute to you on just thinking more, you know, business mindset and grown man type ish. But I think it definitely you should let them do their job. And, and I, I don't wish prison and jail on nobody except for those who put kids in harm way. Not saying the mother's putting the kid in the harm way, but we've seen a lot of times where if the roles was reversed and it was a man who took the child away like that, you would see probably the SWAT team get initiated with, after the first couple of hours. Big facts. So especially with on paper, custody is towards a custodial parent, that being a female, you would definitely see the police arrived on time. So I will say, put the child mindset in mind. Uh, don't don't be picky towards each other right now. You got a child to think about. And you are being a bigger man right now, I admit. But being a bigger man don't just mean staying back, staying reserved. I mean, handle your business and do what you need to do for that young God, man. Look, I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another great episode of I Smoke hip hop live and like once again like i tell you all the time man love your family love your kids and most definitely definitely stay blessed gang one ladies and gentlemen before you get out of here make sure you follow me on instagram dj underscore bless one at dj underscore bless one the rest of the social media platforms such as twitter facebook and etc soundcloud make sure you just put i smoke hip hop for that look it's been a fun journey Make sure you guys always remember to love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang.